Good evening, and welcome to our 2019 commencement here at Frontier. I'd like to welcome families, friends, and students, and I'd like to say congratulations to the class of 2019 here at Frontier. Woo! My name is George Lanitas, and I'm the principal here at Frontier Regional. I'd like to make a few introductions before we get started this evening. Uh, on stage with here tonight, we have Bob Halla. He is our chair of Frontier Regional School Committee. We have Darius Modesto, he's the superintendent of schools. And we have, of course, Scott Dredge, our assistant principal. So, welcome and congratulations once again to the class of 2019. Congratulations to you all on your hard work and perseverance. Continue to make everyone you know proud, continue to work hard. Take the time to listen, learn, and to continue growing. We wish you nothing but the best in your future endeavors. I want to also say congratulations to our parents and our families. Thank you for all you do and all of your hard work. You have done a wonderful job here, and the entire staff and faculty of Frontier wish to extend our thanks to you. I also want to thank our teachers and our staff. Thank you for your hard work and dedication. Your caring is evident every day as we walk around our building. And now I would like to invite Peter Bronchi and Fiona Ferry up to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Um, good at the invitation. Everybody rise for the pledge, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic And now I would like to introduce our Frontier bands, and they're going to play the Star Spangled Banner for us. So remain standing. <laughs> Many people have a skill that they truly excel at. This can be any traditional skill, from basketball to French horn to ballet. 
Others are talented in other ways that are usually not viewed as skills, but rather testaments of great character. They may be great listeners or active participants in their community. They may be ambitious and dedicated to what they uh, commit to, simply because they, want to, they see the value in a job well done. Emily Laws, as anyone who knows her can testify, has a breadth of knowledge and expertise unparalleled by anyone her age, and hardly seen in those years older than her. She cannot be boiled down to a couple of attributes. She is a talented musician, a tireless runner, a committed actor, and an academic genius. Not to mention the kindest soul I have ever met. Emily, you have a standard for you. You have set a standard for the rest of us to live up to. You are living proof that we can always be more kind, harder working, and more involved members of our communities. It's been a pleasure to be able to call you a peer, a role model, a coworker, and if you don't mind me saying, a friend. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Emily Loss. but I just wanna, there we go, okay, can everyone hear me? Cool, all right, first of all, Eric, thank you so much, that made me wanna cry, that was absolutely beautiful, and, <laughs> all right, um, hi, my name's Emily Laws, I'm the class president for the class of 2019 here at Frontier, all right, now before I begin, I just wanna take a second to thank the band at the back of the field over there, Year by year, as I've experienced, they've come to play music for both the graduates and for the audience. And I can say on behalf of the class, I'm sure, that we are both proud and grateful to have you here. So thank you. All right. Everyone, welcome to the Frontier Regional High School graduation for the class of 2019. Friends, family, teachers, staff, and supporters, we thank you for being here. Now, just to clarify, this event was scheduled for 7 p.m. on this night, Friday, June 7th, 2019. Now you may be wondering, why am I saying such a thing? What's the point? Well, let me give you a number and I want you to see if you can tell what I'm saying. All right, 52,577. Anyone? No? Okay. This was a number of hours about since these students heard their first bell go off in their first class in seventh grade here in Frontier. If you're looking for a smaller number, it's about six years ago. So, as time ticks from this moment, we took our first Frontier classes together. We met many of each other for the first time, and many of us would soon become amazing friends in the future. Some of us were shy, while other of us couldn't get enough of the spotlight. We didn't, we didn't know, know quite, quite who we were or, or who we were, we were going, going to be, be but how could we? we? This was this just was the first step in a long, long journey, journey from here. here. At the start of the next year, year around 8,760 8, hours later, later, for anyone who's curious, we had gotten to know each other a little better. When we took our classes with our new teachers, such as the legendary Mr. Prue, we were more familiar with our surroundings. Some people remember eighth grade, perhaps, by his amazing classes and teachers. Perhaps some remember it by the infamous sickness of the Washington, D.C. trip, referred to either as the plague or by some as the waffle. Or perhaps you may also remember our class by how it broke records in the fish fry. That was a proud moment we had. One year had passed since seventh grade, and we already begun to understand ourselves just a little bit better. 35,040, the beginning of high school. Oh boy. As a new age of freshies, we began our new block schedules, new types of classes, new teachers, new types of work. Now, all these things may sound fairly typical to you, like something that you'd see just about anywhere you'd go. However, between middle and high school, the students you see in front of you had changed. By freshman year, we had gone from growing and learning on our own to growing and learning together. We, we took our own challenges with each other rather than on our own. Whether it be through a phone call in the middle of the night with a best friend, a stream of pictures of the notes from the previous class for someone who was sick, or just simply a smile in the hallway, the group of Frontier students 
had united unlike anyone ever would. The time that we've spent in high school, whether it has been entirely or partially at Frontier, has been four years, twice as long as the time of middle school. Yet I probably speak on behalf of the class when I say that it went by in a flash. Pretend, pretend you could hear my snap back there. Okay. While we were in that building and on these fields, we experienced a lot of firsts. First high school class, first AP exam, first time learning a really cool subject, first time jumping a hurdle or playing an instrument, or perhaps the first time meeting our best friend, first kiss, first mental breakdown, first time pulling in all night or simply because we procrastinated until the last minute, first time driving in the middle of the night to get ice cream. At the same time, especially this year, we experienced a lot of lasts. Last time with our favorite teacher, last presentation, last time having a leading role in the Frontier play, last time walking the halls of Frontier as a student, last time seeing the people we care about before walking away from high school forever. Whatever our memories of high school may be, they have been the life which Frontier has given us. Over the years, we have not only grown, but we've come together. We have matured physically, mentally, and emotionally. We have formed powerful bonds, gained invaluable experiences, and made a mark that will live in Frontier until the edge of, end of time. Now, to the Frontier Regional Class of 2019, I speak directly to you. This is our day to look back upon what we had, what we loved, and what we will miss. This is our day to look back on the many firsts the many lasts, and all the times in between. Today is the day that we leave Frontier as high school students. At the same time, since this is our day to look forward, we are about to step into a world unlike any other as newly born individuals. Whether you plan to leave this country, this state, or even just this property, you will find something which you surely may have never seen before. And this new life surely will not be easy. After all, there are several problems which the world faces day by day. Hunger, disease, political discord, climate change. But hey, who here is to say that we can't face these challenges? Frontier may have been full of homework and essays and long nights, but it gave us life. It gave us power. It gave us experience. We have grown from the miniature human beings we used to be who had just reached adolescence and who were growing long facial hair or despising the possibility. And now we are 17 and 18. We have learned about who we are. We have passed the stages of adolescence and we have prepared ourselves for the life we have ahead. Think of all the problems that we've had to solve just while we were here. Think of all the challenges we've had to face before we even became legal adults. If we can face those issues, why can't we face the ones in the real world? We have, we have proven, proven our potential, potential our, our intellect, intellect, our strength, strength both on, on our own and united. united. Now, now, we can we face the world, world and we can, can prove it again. again. We, we can make, make many, many firsts and many lasts, lasts along the way. The way. First, first human to land on Jupiter. Jupiter. Last, last case of cancer. cancer. First step to world peace. Last day worrying about the fate of the planet in front of us. We as a class have shown that upon our graduation, we are, we are not, not just, just going, going to be part, part of the world. Of the world. We, we are going, going to change, change it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Emily. I would now, now like to invite, invite up to the podium, podium Phelan Koski. Koski. How about, How about the, the inspirational, inspirational Emily Laws, everyone? Just one more round, more round of applause, round please. please. What's in a What's name? In a name? Well, well, quite, quite literally, literally, contents of a name, of a name are, are a few, a few phonemes, phonemes, often, often that, have that have no meaning, no meaning taken out of context, context and their connotation, and their connotation is, removed. is removed. Some are simple. Some are simple. Johnson. Johnson. Well, well perhaps, perhaps they, were they were at some point, some point oh, I don't, oh know. I don't know, maybe the son of John. Smith. Smith. Well, they probably, they probably made, metal made metal or something. Or something. So, how do, so how do we make a face, face a, person, a person, a human being, being out of just out a handful of sounds? sounds. Well, perhaps, well, perhaps we, should we should explore how you, how you can't, can't make a person, make a person from, from the name, name first. first. 
You can't, you can't fake, fake your way, your through. way through. Decide, Decide on, characteristics on characteristics and then abandon, and then abandon them, them when times of strife burden you. Burden you. You can't you submit can't yourself to being, to being socially, socially amorphous, amorphous taking, taking on the personality, on the personality of, whatever of whatever is needed to satisfy just a few just friends. A few friends. You, can't you can't expect success, success without hard work. hard work. Here's what Here's you can, what you can do. do. Fill your, Fill your life, life with, activities with activities and people, and people you, love. you love. Never, Never wander, wander from your, from your path, path to the top, to the top of, of everything, everything you commit yourself, you commit yourself to. to. And, and this, this above, all, above all, to thine own thine self, self be true. Be true. I hope at least hope a few of you picked up on the literary motif throughout this. Throughout this. Uh, ten, uh, ten, points ten points and a high five, five to anyone, anyone who can, who can tell me tell what two works, works those quotes, those are, quotes from. are from. You can meet me meet afterwards. Me afterwards. <laughs> the, the reasoning behind choosing those, those, those quotes, quotes is, simple. is simple. I am introducing, I am introducing a special mind tonight. tonight. I am introducing not only a literary genius, at only the age of 18 might I add, but an inspirational dancer. An honest, an honest worker, worker a, student a student so devoted to learning, to learning even, even when, when confronted, confronted by turmoil, by turmoil. A, patient a patient therapist, therapist of, whom of whom I've had the fortune, had the fortune of being able to dump my problems on for the last six years, six years. And, and most, most impressively, impressively, a loyal friend. Loyal friend. She has she sacrificed, sacrificed her, schedule her schedule to the pursuit, to the pursuit of, greater of greater knowledge and the happiness, and the happiness of others. Of others. I may, I may be speaking, speaking for, for more than just, more than just myself, myself when I say that my, that my success, success could not could have come by the examples set by peers whom we love and admire. It, it gives, gives me the, the most fulfilling, fulfilling pleasure to introduce my best friend from way back, even before puberty. puberty. Please, Please welcome, welcome and honor Madison Esposito. Esposito. Well, well Phelan, you, you did, did it. it. I, I cried. cried. Um, um, I, love I love you. Thank, thank you, you for being my best friend for six years, years and for that wonderful, wonderful introduction. introduction. Good, Good evening, evening to all the faculty, faculty staff, staff, family members, and guests. guests. And, and most, most importantly, importantly, good evening to my, my fellow, fellow members of the class of 2019. Many, Many of us walked into Frontier six years ago as anxious yet eager middle schoolers with bright, shiny eyes full of excitement and hope. We were all ready to pave our own paths and write our own stories. In a small town like Deerfield, it is hard to not have your name known. Familiar faces are extremely common. We wanted more, though. We did not just want to be known. We wanted to be remembered. As I stand before you today, I can safely say that we have achieved that. There may be some parents who only know us passively, or some teachers that we never had who only know of us from talk of the water cooler. But no matter what, we will remember our class and the memories we have created together. Since we will keep those memories alive, the legacy of the class of 2019 will remain a fire that will burn eternally. Over these past few years, we have seen people come and go and come back again. Some of us have traveled together, whether to nearby towns or the Netherlands. Others of us have played sports together or put on shows together, from Fred to Poppy or even 1984. We've played, We've played music, music together, together in concerts, concerts and coffee houses. houses. We've, We've seen, seen our classmates perform at the Poetry Slam as serious poets or hysterical rappers. rappers. Talk, Talk about, about cheap milk. milk. <laughs> we, have, we, we as a class have taken countless, countless AP exams, exams SATs, SATs, and classes, and, and more. And we've all had, had a good cry after, after, if I do say so myself. Despite being an incredibly smart and dedicated group of students. We worked, we worked hard, hard in our in classes, classes determined, determined not, not only to learn, but to, but to have a good time while doing it. it. We've, We've studied, studied together, together read, read stories, stories together, together, and wondered what actually, actually happened to Quintus. Quintus. Or in or other words, words Ubi Quintus. Quintus. We've, danced We've danced together, together at prom, prom and homecoming, the latter of which we were fortunate enough to witness for the first time as juniors. We've taped our vice principal to the wall under the guise of the fundraisers, and we all know the actual goal was just to have fun. We've blown, We've blown up watermelons, watermelons on the front lawn using, using rubber bands. bands. We've, We've stormed, stormed primos, primos at lunch and after, after school and flooded, flooded the Wheatley Diner, Diner after school events. events. It was it great seeing some of you guys. guys. Sorry. Sorry. And, and I loved, I loved waiting, waiting on all of you, too. too. 
We chatted, we chatted incessantly, incessantly when we heard that a company the size of our own school was opening in town, in town. And, now and now we take, we take over, over that, that building, building too. too. We've seen, We've our, seen our biggest, biggest victories, victories from watching the volleyball team, team win their 14th Western, Western Mass Championship, championship in a row, or, or by pulling off one of the best senior pranks since 2015. We've seen our biggest errors from starting a plague on the 8th grade DC trip, or by starting some questionable gambling in a March Madness bracket. Nonetheless, We've made, we've made sure, sure to make the most, most out of any situation, situation we were given. given. We've, we've been, been through a lot, lot and we've and been we've through, through it all together. It hasn't, it hasn't always been, been easy. easy. We've, we've had, had to face, face a lot, lot whether from outside, outside instigators, instigators or even from each other. other. We, we haven't always the best of, been the best of friends, and we certainly have not always gotten along. There have been many times where none of us wanted to go to school. Tears have broken out, arguments have been started. It hasn't always been easy. But despite, but despite that, that, I think it's safe, safe to stand before all of you and say, say that we would that not be the well-rounded individuals we are today if we didn't have to have face those struggles. struggles. And, overall, and overall, we ended up having a pretty incredible high school experience. experience. Without, Without all these, all these hardships, hardships, we would we just, we just wouldn't be ourselves, ourselves anymore. anymore. It, is it is important that, important that we are given struggles, and our struggles prevent us from resting on our laurels and taking our privileges for granted, which we have many of. Plus, our struggles ultimately brought us all together as a class. These past, These past years have been, have been utterly, utterly unforgettable. unforgettable. Each moment, Each moment we have spent together has formed a memory that we will hold dear forever. forever. This, is this is especially true for this last year, and especially this last week. week. As our time, time in the halls of Frontier, Frontier began to dwindle, dwindle I, found I found myself feeling closer, closer to each and each every one of you. Of you. So this so has this been fueled by recent events, events like our day of poor parking and partying in the football field, as well as senior tea and our few walking rehearsals. I know the I know reason, the reason I, feel I feel so close, close to you right, right now is because, because I, will I will truly and sincerely, sincerely miss all of you. I've had I've the had privilege, privilege of knowing most, most of you for at least six years, years. Some, some even longer. longer. And the fact, and the fact that, that I will no longer, longer see you every day truly, truly breaks, breaks my heart. My heart. Still, Still, I talk I before, before you with a smile on my face because I know that this is not truly the end. We will continue to conquer new frontiers on our own, but we will always have each other and our many, many memories. We will never, we'll never truly be alone. Be alone. We, may we may not be able, able to see each other, each other every day, but that, but that will make the time, the time we do have do together even more even special. More special. So, sit so sit back, smile, smile and, take and take it all in. in. This is, this our, is day. our day. Cling to Cling your to memories, memories, both the both good and the bad, and grow and from, them. from them. Look at your Look friends with lightness, not sadness in your heart. This evening is not a night for sorrow, but a night for celebrating. We've done it. We've made it through the trial, tribulations, delights, and joys of Frontier Regional High School. Do not dwell on what you wish you've done differently, but rather focus on what's going to lie ahead. Because everyone, this is hardly the end. We still have a million more memories to make. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Madison. I would now, I would like, now to like to invite up Megan, up Megan Waldron. Waldron. Yeah. Okay, thanks, okay, Maddie. You made me cry, too. Cry too. <laughs> We're doing great tonight. Anyways. Anyways. Over the past, Over the past six, six years at Frontier, the class, the class of 2019, 2019 has, had has had many wonderful, wonderful teachers and mentors, and mentors who have all come, come who, who we have who all come, come to know and love. Individually, we have we formed have close bonds with some, with some of these teachers, teachers but, together, but together, our class, class decided this one specific, one specific teacher stood, stood out and would suit to be to be the commencement speaker for tonight. This teacher is extremely kind, hardworking, funny, and cared more than anything about the subject he taught and his students. Many, Many students, students can recall, recall coming, coming to this teacher when they needed a good hug or, or somebody simply to talk to. to. He cares about, about everyone and knew all his students by name. Aside, aside from, from this, this, however, he was extremely passionate about his teaching and made a huge impact in the history department here at Frontier. Our, our class has missed him lots, and I am happy to introduce Mr. Thomas Peru as our commencement speaker for tonight. Thank you, Megan. Well, I'm 
feeling a little intimidated after these student speakers who were just outstanding. In fact, I think what we should do before I say anything more is give them a round of applause. That was awesome, you guys. Members of the school committee, administration, faculty, parents, class of 2019, and guests, good evening. I would first like to say how humbled I am to be here, and how pleased I was to have been asked. Because of my advanced age, some of you may have thought, I might get lost on my way here. I can assure you I had no trouble finding the place. And now that I'm over 60, my bedtime comes pretty early, so I promise I won't talk for very long. Additionally, Mr. Dredge tells me that the time allotted for me has long since passed, so I guess I better get going. Seriously, though, this evening is a special milestone for you. I hope it is one you'll always cherish. The poet Charles Olson wrote, All my life I've heard that one makes many. I hope, I hope that this, this first milestone, milestone is, is one of many for all of you. From, from this evening forward, whatever, whatever may be your endeavors, endeavors there are four things, things you must include as integral, important parts, parts of your lives. lives. I'll, I'll mention each of these and discuss, and discuss them briefly. briefly. First, first is perseverance. Is perseverance. You, you must persist in a, in a determined, determined fashion, fashion in all, all that you do. do. History, History provides us with numerous examples. examples. In the in spring, spring of 1804, 1804 a, party a party of explorers, explorers known as the Corps of Discovery, Discovery left St. Louis, Missouri, Missouri to explore the Louisiana, Louisiana territory, territory, which Thomas, Thomas Jefferson, Jefferson had purchased from the French. French. Led by, by Meriwether Lewis, Lewis and William, William Clark, Clark, this, this band, band would include a slave named York, York and a 16-year-old Lemhi Shoshone woman named Sakagawea, who gave birth on the trail and carried her son on her back throughout the expedition. The Corps of Discovery would record hundreds of plants and animals unknown to science, befriend nearly 50 Native American nations, and suffer heat, cold, mosquitoes, and near starvation. They would cover over 8,000 miles, and be gone, be gone for two, two years, years, four months, and ten days. days. All, All that we know of their journey comes, comes from their journals. journals. The, the one, one phrase most often seen in the journals is, we proceeded on. Perseverance is what they practiced and what made them successful. The second thing you must make part of your life is imagination. We all, we all have, have the, the ability, ability to visualize, to visualize things, things, a kind of mind's, mind's eye. eye. This, this should, should be fostered, fostered as a as way, way for us to see what might be. Imagine, Imagine the world Frederick, Frederick Douglass saw. saw. Like, like most, most slaves, slaves, Frederick Douglass did not, did not know his, his birthday, birthday and had scant, scant memory of his mother. mother. He, knew he knew nothing, nothing of his father, father who may have been his master. What Douglas, what Douglas did have was what, what historian, historian David Blight has called an empowering, empowering imagination. imagination. He, imagined he imagined a life, a life different, different from the from one he was, was living. living. He escaped, he escaped from, slavery from slavery in 1838 and settled, and settled in New Bedford, Bedford Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Starting, Starting in 1841, he became an anti-slavery anti speaker, speaking, speaking over, over most, most of the country, of the country and, in and in 31 towns in Massachusetts in, Massachusetts in 1840, 1844, 1844, including Athol, Florence, Florence, and Pittsfield. And Pittsfield. He, published he published his first, his first autobiography, autobiography in 1845, 1845 traveled, traveled to Europe, Europe, and in 1847, 1847 became a newspaper, newspaper publisher. publisher. By, the By the time of the Civil, of the Civil War, War, he was a very, was a very famous, famous man. man. An abolitionist, an abolitionist speaker, speaker and writer, writer extraordinaire. extraordinaire. He, would he would be invited, invited to, the to the White House, House and, consulted and consulted by President, by President Lincoln. Lincoln. In 1864, after, after President Lincoln's, Lincoln's second, second inaugural, inaugural Douglas, Douglas was initially, was initially denied, denied entrance, entrance to the executive, to the executive mansion, mansion, but was, but was finally, finally admitted. admitted. 
When he caught, when he caught sight, sight of, Douglas, of Douglas, President, President Lincoln, Lincoln called out, Here comes, here comes my friend, friend Douglas. Douglas. He wanted, he to, wanted know to know what Douglas, Douglas thought of his speech, speech saying, saying, There is there no is man, man in the country, country whose opinion, opinion I value, I value more, more than yours. Than yours. Douglas, Douglas told him the speech was a, was a sacred effort. effort. One, wonders One wonders if Douglas', Douglas imagination, imagination could have shown, have shown him this moment. This moment. The third, the third thing, thing you must you make must a part, make a part of, your of your life is humility. Is humility. Be modest, Be modest respectful, respectful, humble, humble not, arrogant. not arrogant. In American, In American history, history, there may, there may, there may be no, no finer, finer exemplar of humility, of humility than Abraham, Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln. On November 19th, 1863, Abraham Lincoln was in Gettysburg a southern, southern Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania market, market town, town where the previous, the previous July, July a large, a large battle, battle had been fought between 150,000 men north and south. south. It had been it a had northern, northern victory, victory but, one but one which came, which came at, great, at great, cost. great cost. A lawyer, a lawyer in, the town, in the town, David, David Wills, Wills, had proposed, had proposed establishing, establishing a soldier's, soldier's cemetery, cemetery there, there, and this was, and this the, was the day of dedication. The main speaker for the event was to be Edward Everett a noted, noted orator, orator and, former and former governor of Massachusetts, of Massachusetts and U.S. Secretary of State. Of State. Lincoln, Lincoln was asked, was asked to, deliver to deliver a few, a few appropriate, appropriate remarks. remarks. The, speech the speech he gave, he that, gave day, that day, the Gettysburg, the Gettysburg address, address, has come, has to, come be to be regarded, regarded as, as one, one of the, the finest, finest ever, ever delivered, delivered, delivered in the English language. language. A, a reporter, reporter for, for the, the Chicago, Chicago Tribune once wrote, his speaking went to the heart because it came from the heart. I'll say. At one point in the speech, the president said, the world will little note nor long remember what we say here. He was the president of the United States shepherding the country through a cataclysmic civil war, and he thought his words would be forgotten. Humility. Senator, Senator Charles, Charles Sumner of Massachusetts would say, the world noted at once what he said and, and will never cease to remember it. The last of the four things you need to include in your life is kindness. We live in a world which unfortunately equates kindness with weakness. Let me tell you, Weakness lies in not being able to be kind. I'll let the United Society of Believers or Shakers instruct us on kindness. From their establishment here in 1774, right up until the present, their beliefs have included equality of the genders and races, nonviolence, honesty, and concern for the less fortunate. Living lives of faith, hard work, and sacrifice, they never turned the needy away. There was a plaque that hung for many years at Mount Lebanon, New York, once the Shaker's central ministry. It read, Do all the good you can, in all the ways you can, to all the people you can, in every place you can, at all the times you can, as long as ever you can. Imagine if we put these words into practice. It has been a great pleasure for me to be here tonight. I hope that all of you have long, healthy, successful lives filled with love, and that you bring joy to yourself and others. Include perseverance, imagination, imagination humility, humility, and kindness in your futures, and this will help you make the world a better place. Thank you. We are now going to award our diplomas.
Edwin J. Acevedo. Maricela Jean Ackerman. Nathaniel, Nathaniel S. S. Austin. Austin. <laughs> Connor, Connor J. J. Bagton. Bagton. George, George John, John Bayless. Bayless. <laughs> Cameron, Cameron J. J. Baranowski. Baranowski. Timothy, Timothy J. J. Barrington. Barrington. Madeline, Madeline J. J. Bastion. Bastion. Melissa, Melissa Ann, Ann Bennett. Bennett. Congratulations. Peter, Peter W. w Bronchi. Bronchi. Carson, Carson Jan, Jan Carey. Carey. Dakota, Dakota Carey. Carey. Kelsey L. L. Carey. Carey. <laughs> Natalie Dean Chamaka. David D. Chevalier, Jr. Carly Marie Clark.
Theo Conway. Conway. Madison, Madison Alina, Alina Crocker. Crocker. Lauren Jean Davenport. Daniel Cole Danak. Caitlin R. Devine. Paige M. Eddy. Ruby Esposito. So there was a crisis with the white game, So the F stop was not on. Kaylin Evans. Oh, my bad. We're going to hold up for a second. So it went to So it was only a little bit. You got to see it. Good catch, good thing I'm well because it just happened. So. Yeah, I'm, catch, catch, uh, I'm, I know. I'm glad that we hit record on all of them because if it's not set on the switcher, you can always go back to post. Exactly. Just all these guys up the line. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to wait before I need to start my drum because they're only in the second. You want to do this for a little? Kaylin Evans. J. J. Everett. Everett. <laughs> Michael, Michael Andrew, Andrew Philandis. Fiona Rose, Rose Ferry. Ferry. <laughs> Samuel Jacob, Jacob Finch. Finch. Damn. Kiernan, Kiernan P. P. Freeman. Freeman. <laughs> Elizabeth, Elizabeth and Fuqua. And Fuqua.
Aaron E. e. Halbach. Halbach. Benjamin, Benjamin J. J. Hamer. Hamer. <laughs> Alicia May Hancock. Douglas M. Haneski. <laughs> Ava Simone Harper. Matthew Tyler Hildreth. Yeah. Hey, Noah M. Jacques. Eleanor Isabel Klitsky. Kara Nicole La Rochelle. Elizabeth Lavershell. Emily M. Laws. Christine Lilly.
Benjamin, Benjamin H. H. Mazzola. Sheriff Thelma Mogul Cole. Caroline, Caroline Marie, Marie Moreau. Moreau. Paige, Paige Riley, Riley Moriarty. Moriarty. Kipling, Kipling D. D. Newman. Newman. Yeah. Colby, Colby Norse. Norse. Zachary, Zachary Norminger. Haley, Haley A. A. Orlowski. Orlowski. Isabel Priscilla Pacheco. Are we class two? Tyler E. Perso. Samuel J. Parsons. All right. <laughs> William Patton. Isaac Perot. Thank you so much. <laughs> Jeffrey J. Pike. Fatima, Daniela, Pineda, Amaya. Dylan Poland.
Sebastian Gabriel Avery Richards. Benjamin D. Roberts. Grace L. Rossi. Xavier F. F. Santiago. Santiago. David, David Zola, Zola Sharp. Sharp. <laughs> Ivy, Ivy E. e Shattuck. Shattuck. Zachary, Zachary M. M. Sisson. Sisson. Yeah. I love your yeah. Nice job. Rachel, Rachel Taylor, Taylor Skribisky. Skribisky. Ashley G. Talega. Jonathan Thomas. Justin Thomas. Shelby Claire Tippett. Gerald, choose well. Mark, to tell ya. Arian Chia Venegas
Haley J, Nicole Beans. <laughs> Megan Marie Walden. Ariana Elizabeth Walker. <laughs> Noah Walls. Thanks, <laughs> Gabriel John. Williams. Williams. <laughs> <laughs> you are in that one, buddy. Yeah, you know, good some of the <laughs> Emma Tippett Wood. Wood. <laughs> Emma Ron Yildiz. Sarah, Sarah May, May Zoli. Zoli. Before, Before the, the seniors, seniors sing, I want to I introduce to you all, family, family friends, friends, alumni, alumni guests, guests, the class, the class of 2019. 2019.